guys, it's your girl Urban Chick One. I know I've been gone for a while. Um, I actually moved and looking for an apartment in the city that's not a hole in the wall and that won't leave you broke because of paying rent was a pretty long and strenuous process. So I finally got my own apartment and yes, yeah, so I'm just coming back and please look out for more videos in the future as they will come. Okay, so today I would like to share with you a tip that I think is really good for the summer. Um, it's not on here, it's to show you how you can make your own homemade ices. And I think this is really good um, for parents who have kids because the main reason why I did this and I'm sharing this with y'all is because I went to the supermarket the other day and now I love popsicles. I love popsicles during the summertime. But when I went and I looked on the back of the box, it was about 10 different ingredients. Ingredients I couldn't even read. I was surprised. Like, only thing that should be in the icy is juice and water and sugar. Nothing else. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'll make my own ices. Because I remember making them as a kid with my family. So I think this would be really cool for families to do um, with their kids. It's They'll have fun and you know what your kid's eating. So it's a lot healthier because if you know your kids are going to have tons of ices throughout the summer, at least you know what they are consuming. And it's a lot better for them to have natural juice than to have all this other crap that store-bought ices have or usually have. Okay, so let's get started. There are three main things that you will know. Four main things you will need to make ices. The juice, number one. I recommend Simply Lemonade, Simply Orange Juice, Simply Orange Aid, Tropicana, 100% Dull Juice, something that's just natural juice. Where on the back it's sugar and juice. There isn't tons of different ingredients, even concentrate is okay. Um, allegedly high fructose corn syrup is not good for you, so if it's just you know cane sugar and juice. That's it for the liquid part. So you need your juice. Um, the container you're going to put the icy in so that it will form the shape of the icy. I recommend getting something very, very small. I got these three ounce cups from the 99 cent store. Um, if you don't have the three ounce cups, you can also use ice cube makers that you probably have in your freezer. Ice cube maker like this. You can also use this. Um, if you don't have a uh, small small compartments to put the um, icy in, and do but whatever you get, do not use a glass a small glass um, container because liquid expands when it, it freezes. If it expands in a glass material, the glass will probably break in your freezer. You do not want that to happen. So use plastic. Ice cream maker is plastic. These cups are plastic. Again, got these cups from the 99 cent store. These are three ounce cups. So hopefully, you know, your, your nearest drug or discount store would have them. Or just use the ice cube makers. And so you'll need your cups. you need your juice. You'll need foil. And popsicle sticks. A stick to hold the icy on. <laughs> If you use the ice cube maker, I recommend using toothpicks since these would be tiny ices instead of popsicle sticks. It's up to you. So let's get started. I'm using plain old water because I don't have juice. I'm too lazy. I didn't go shopping yet. So, but this is show you how I'm going to use the water. So take your container, your tiny little cup. You don't want to use big cups because I'll be a real big ass icy. <laughs> that you'll be looking all day so you want something tiny or slim so take your cup you want to pour your juice in it not all the way to the top because like i said liquid expands when it freezes so you pour it up to there see and then the whole point of having foil is so that the popsicle stick stays in place while the juice freezes. So I'm taking my foil, putting it right on top. Whoop. Make sure not to be gentle. You don't want to mess up the cup. See? But it has to be secure enough so that 
you can pop the popsicle stick. So I'm just going to pop the stick right in. There you go. See? So the stick stays up while the liquid freezes inside. You do the same thing with an ice cube maker. I'm going to just fill up three right here. I don't know if you can see. See? And I'm using water, but in this case, you will use juice. You fill up the juice in the ice cube maker. Make sure the foil is long enough to cover both edges of the ice cube maker. I'm just filling up these three. If you fill up the whole thing, then you want to cover the whole thing. So it's secure enough when you pop the popsicle stick in. Again, I recommend using two picks if you use the ice cube maker. Since these would be tiny ices, it would be better. But I don't have two picks to show you. So, so all you do is find where your three components are. So here go my first one. So I'll just pop it right in. This part I recommend adult doing because a kid might just mess up the foil and just start playing with the with the with the popsicle sticks. And you do that for the next three. And you just stick it in your freezer overnight and they should be done. And that's it. So the foil helps keep the popsicle sticks in place. Ta-da! <laughs> and that's it. So to take these out the next day, you just wiggle it out. Like, because these are just like regular ice cubes. Um, I already made some of these, so I can tell you how to take the icy out of the cup. Okay, so let's go. I'll show you the ones that I made. Okay, so here's my fridge. Yeah, I'm just like a regular urban person. I don't have no food in my fridge. So, <laughs> so here, here are the ones that I've already made. They're really, see, they're really cute. Um, you just take it. See? So all you do, since this is in a cup, the first thing you want to do is carefully remove the foil. And if it gets stuck, you just carefully slip it out. See? It slips right out. See? So for this one, it looks a little bit odd because I actually put frozen fruit. I use this fruit. I use this frozen um, berries to just give it a little twist since I'm only making these for myself. Um, so you want to run the outside of the cup on hot water. Wait for my water to get hot. Come on. So this is your ice in your cup. And you just run it over hot water. And you'll kind of see, like you see right here, when you start seeing the bubbles, that means the icy is, is um, letting go of the outer surface of the cup. And that's it. And now, you just pop it right out. Wait, I need to hold this camera. Let me just stick it right here. Ta-da! And that's it. So, <laughs> there you go. Now you have a homemade icy. Isn't that cute? And then I have little berries on the bottom if I want to, like, you know. And then you can keep the container, like, if you give this to your kid, as a um, dripping component. So, if it starts dripping or if it gets messy, they can just do this. Or if they have, or if they're doing so many things, they can put the icy back in. And then go like to the bathroom or something, you know, so you won't have to hold it for them or just hold it over if it drips. So there you go. So I hope all of y'all, <laughs> you do, if you do try this at home, let me know, comment, um, and tell me how it goes because I really, really like my homemade ices better than I like those popsicle sticks. Well, I mean, not popsicle sticks, you know, I mean, the popsicle ices in the super, supermarket. So tell me how it goes. Um, comment below <laughs> and rate and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all later. Again, this is your girl, Urban Chick One.